But after their game against Nip yesterday, we know Fnatic are here to play inside of this group. A very tough group, but Fnatic want to be that third team sneaking through. A win here over Na'Vi would be unbelievable. However, it's not going to be easy. Map 3, Inferno, a Classico, and Simple certainly woken up since Map 1 as well. We're getting into it, Harry. Inferno, T-side star for Fnatic. they got to work for it. All right, then let's get into it, shall we? Fnatic T-side opener in this one. Na'Vi, they've got the dual Barettas on Simple. I'm excited to see what he does with those early, but he is leaning B, and Fnatic are heading up towards this A site where only two players currently reside for Na'Vi. They're coming in fast and thick out through the apartments. Electronic tucked in, back of the site, needs to win fight after fight, and he's in with the first two. Bomb now dropped. Santa Young up oh. through the short side has been bested, but Electronic still here, oh. and not moving a muscle, baby. He's in with a third. Pistol looking good for Na'Vi and it's all on the back of the captain. Yeah, Messi's got to slip through this door. 1v4, they're all over the site. They're chasing him with the jewelies as well. Simple's hunting this final kill. He will kind of feed Messi. He's got many more men to get through, but Electronic's good for the job. Four kills, a plenty for the Papa, and he's done them dirty yet again. This guy's full of 4Ks today when he's not too busy running through Molotovs. Fantastic start to the map for Electronic. Locks in that A attack after we see those phase flashes over the balcony. And Fnatic, got to go back to the drawing board. They've been ecoing all of these second rounds, it's worth noting. Na'Vi have won uh, three out of four, well, actually now four out of five pistols in this series. And even when they lost their one pistol, they immediately won the force buy. Uh, every time Fnatic lose, it's a full eco and it's guns in the third. This will be no exception. And while a little bit of girth, Harry, goes a long way, it's just skinny glocks running up alt. Yeah, not really down with the thickness on this one for Fnatic. Nor the fitness. I mean, with all that said, they've always found a way to make these rounds feel like they could get interesting, and then it's normally, like, snuffed out right as it kind of uh, hits that tipping point. Let's oh. see. Simple with the MP7 wants to make some money, wants to make some cash, but will end up going down after one. Instead, Another? it's Electronic and some die young to collapse in on the top of mid and keep that one clean. Only losing one man in the process. Big old buy there for Fnatic, nice and early. And, and yeah, we haven't really seen a lot of Inferno from this roster right at all, really. Um... Last time I can recall them playing it was back at Pinnacle, if you remember, on LAN, where they had Forrest in the team uh, standing in, of course, and they took it over Heroic. So they had a really impressive BO1 opener there, did Fnatic, but it's been some time since and some changes as well. Let's see what these firepower pieces are going to be doing on the T side. Where will Roy and Fasher be found? The latter of which in alt. Roy working B. Already mollied out of Banana. Bit ready with more nades. It's a nice placement. Dunked. 40 damage. Not bad at all. Top B flashes for Mezzi, but ops against them. Always got all the room already. And Navi, this is a map where you know their utility is just going to be spot on. Knowing when to give up top B, when to re-smoke, when to re-aggress. They had a flash setup, now they've gone for the boost instead, with Perfecto holding a molly on his jiggle, hoping Fnatic run and execute. If they do, they can do it again. They have four smokes still available. They could fake this, but Fnatic look ready to go. What will the molly do to this push? Oh, God. Oh, nothing, because it's not going in, because the man with it is so blind back at the site that it has to be held on to. Perfecto set up with a flashbang, trying to maneuver his way around the smoke and mirrors on the pillar, out with the swing. He's only good for one. Uh -oh. Bit coming wow. through is cut down, and Crims now up and over, was looking for a fight in through CT. I see. Well, decide to play the numbers game on this one. 3v3 as Na'Vi start grouping for the retake. Some die young, still a ways away here. We'll need the results to come through, and Electronic has certainly spurred on the retake now. 
Now they're going to jump over the coffins here. Two players coming from that side. They chase CT Spore, but Nika Dos needed that kill to even get this round started. Simple will shut it down with Sunday Young, and the round is won by Na'Vi. Upgrades are plenty on what was essentially a bonus round for the CT side with two SMGs. So they come out very good indeed. Even though there's some messy aspects of that round from the Molly not going out, Perfecto getting one for one, the boost being failed in the retake. Na'Vi still managed to keep a lid on it. And Fnatic, with a bomb plant, can put a bit of money behind it, but it's only pistols. Still yet to see the orb, but we're very early days. Electronic yet to die. Yeah, this is uh, gonna be a gonna be a rough one for Fnatic, I think. You know, because we're, we're gonna need to see a little bit more mileage out of kind of uh, guys. I think Messi's gonna have to do a lot. I think Crims needs to kind of relive that that resurgence he was able to have. Uh, you know, over on Ancient, kind of gr grind his way back into the swing of things. And we're gonna need a good bit out of Fascia. Uh, you know, I think this is one where Nikodos and Roy might actually fall off a little bit. One yeah. where the Flames had their fair, a fair share of struggles, right? But for Fasher and Ecstatic, he was always a monster on the T side of this map. So if you were kind of looking for, for ways in, uh, I'm going to say Mezzi and Fasher actually have to be a big part of this. Also, a lot of doing, doing a lot of banana entering was Fasher. If you get to see that, he's at the front now. But just pistols, remember. Nice molly placement. Fnatic is still going to move behind it and look for the pick in the smoke. It's going to re-smoke it. It's not great, though. It actually blooms really weirdly, almost like a wall smoke as Fnatic come into the pool. Oh, Bits is trying to tuck in, but yeah, you can spam through that box. They go up and over. Through Spawn comes Crims and kills a rotation. Perfecto is alone. He's got to go mad. Molly kill moment needed, and two will do to set up Na'Vi for a retake round. Can guns be picked off here for Fnatic? They've still only sat back on these deagles. They need upgrades. Not available. And so Na'Vi, with some well-placed flashbangs, should be able to clear these corners. Facto's going to try and move in first over here from Ruins. Needs this oh, initial gunfight, yeah. and it's not panned oh. out. Fasher and Nikodos holding on with the Deegs. Some die young. 1v1, ah. and Fasher will swing him to steal that one away on the eco. The Sick. Eagles do it. Fnatic in with their first, and it's Fasher doing the bulk of the heavy lifting. There we go. We were wondering. We were waiting, and those are those B entries that we needed from Fasher. Great Deagle work. Look at this opener through the box. Doesn't say it's a wall bang, but I can assure you it is. That's why that player there was just trying to desperately peek and get a fight off. He knew that he could get spammed by the Eagles. And the Eagles are all that Na'Vi bring to the table in this round. As he's back up top B, lightning fast. Knowing there's little to contest it here for Na'Vi. One smoke on the B site, two stall. Simple. All right, all the way through. It's not exactly a round winner yet, but it certainly could materialize. However, his patience will let him down here as Fnatic are ready to explode into the B-bomb site. No more util left to stop them. Crim's holding on to aggression that has yet to come through. And his late lurk is going to be nice to take down these pistols, trying to come back in for a late retake. If only Simple went further. Could still find Crimson this gun, but in terms of winning the round, oh my god, Na'Vi is stacking, and as they do, Fnatic pull back and go towards this A site. This is now a good position for Simple. As he hears him in alt mid, he could have caught them. They've just crept up, at least the most of them have, but there's still a player in the pack yet to cross. Roy might lose his life. Oh. Caught with nade, Simple hits a shot, and now Fnatic need to go. It's weird, they're gonna go looking for simple, but this could give him more fights. He kind of wants this, man. Crim's up in the apartments. Do not get caught looking the wrong way. Oh, oh the Deagle and Simple's in with another. Uh -oh. He's giving a chance to Na'Vi, who are now all in rotation, all coming in through Banana, but Simple. Just by time. Still up in the apartments, right? Still being a nuisance. Just his presence here, finally dealt with. Fash is the man to flush him out. Can the rest of Na'Vi finish the job that Simple started? They've got guns to grab. They can arm themselves here. 
They don't really have util, they don't have a kit to play with, so these kills have got to come in very swiftly if they do want to get this one past Fnatic. Yeah, last bit of util out, the awful fire off and Nika does it. Does stop that split from Apps, and now the one gun might be thinking about saving. Sunday Young runs away. It's only Perfecto here trying to keep players in the site to die with the bomb, but he knows he will as well. There's an AK and Apps from Simple. He's going to reroute to get it, but with no armor, he has got to be quick. Oh my god, he's going for kills. Nope, out of there like a light. And he should just survive, but I think Fash is going to die with the bomb here. Almost certainly. Still, Fnatic will take it. Their hesitancy on the A side was only because they never knew about that B stack. Called by Simple off of his aggressive position. And hey, he gets a 5v3 for Na'Vi, but they just weren't armed for the job. We know how difficult retaking can be on a map like Inferno. When you add in the fact that there are three pistols and no kit, it is made almost only an eco at the end of the day. <laughs> Na'Vi can come in with the guns. Dude, something that I think is like so insane. I'll just say it again. Like when Fasha was in, uh, you know, that bird from Sky Ecstatic, he could win Inferno games damn near single-handedly from the entries he would attempt. And he's kind of trying to do that same thing here in this matchup right now. Very, very cool to see that translating up the ladder of competition, as it were. This round's kick-started with an early 4v4, a kind of skirmish over towards Banana that goes either way. And now Fnatic slow it right down, trying to keep Na'Vi guessing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Electronic will stick on that A site. Just swapping spots with Simple. So the orb will be left out of the picture for now, at least Narvi's. It's Fnatic line up and execute. Electronic can call for flashes from Sunday Young for long if he wants, but he has been smoked off, making it unlikely. Can I look to fight inside of the site instead? Fnatic are in no hurry, though. They know they've got this stalemate, a likely 2-2 setup. So just make sure the util's clean. Flashes over long, double smoke on the arch side to let them wrap Moto. Fnatic do it again. They already got it done against pistols. Electronic, here's the steps though. He knows exactly what's coming through. A lot of players making moves. Electronic tries to stop him from getting comfortable. He's hidden at the back of the site and the bomb has been dropped at his feet. They don't even know about the pit player. Surprise, Sunday Young shoots him in the back of the head. And Crims now has a 1v3 with 10 seconds. Perfecto's already run through from CT spawn. Na'Vi get it done, four to two and no problem. Dude, it's terrifying how Electronic is, is able to just anchor down this side of the map. Like in the pistol, he put up four there in a split up short and long. He doubles down like it's nothing and, and even takes it one step further than that, right? Just staying alive, buying some Dai Young a lot of time to find impact from the pit. It's very, very nice to see. Roy, similar slow start to that of Ancient. He was 0-9, but he still ended top. So we're hoping for a recovery here just as well. 0-6 for now. And Fnatic just spread out on Deagles. Look for openers. Hope Na'Vi get a bit too curious for their own good. But right now we've not seen any aggro on the CT side. Not even Banana takes, right? This is the furthest anyone's gone for Na'Vi other than simple in apartments in an eco round of his own. He once again is there. Bait and switch with Sunday Young. Has the AWP. Fnatic are looking for the B hit right now. No util makes this round very difficult and that nade will not make it easier either. There's plenty more utility to be lobbed in on this B site from Perfecto. Fnatic may as well just run through this as it fades. They have Molly in their way, but the moment that that's gone, they are coming through. Deagle on Roy, down and out of the round. Fascia good for one on his Glock, but... Now, Ooh, oh, hello, wow. Bit will get digged out of the round. That's TikTok. a shot at the bomb plant here. Messi's going to get that, that bomb down. 
And from this point onwards, Fnatic, anything else they can do is just a cherry on top of the cake, really. Tucked in at Orange is going to try and swing out, but that's Nikodon's dead. <laughs> and Messi's run out with his Glock, unable to do enough damage. IGL's clash and Electronic comes out ahead. And so that's Na'Vi up on a five. All in all, though, for Fnatic, considering they really bought nothing with them into that round other than the Deagle on Roy, they'll take a bomb plan. Yeah, that's a successful round, right? These D entries on B have been pretty gnarly, to be honest. Couple of chances at this B site when Simple's not been there. But still, it's all coming up Na'Vi for now. We need more gun rounds. Playing a lot of different setups on B as well have been Na'Vi, Perfecto and Bit. Just going for boosts, going for you know banana fights, crossfires to CT and rounds that they know that Fnatic don't have smokes. This is a round where Fnatic want to give Nikodos the room with the AWP, his first on the T side, trying to find opening kills. He's been smoked out of banana and middle. So the timer is now all Fnatic have to play with. Bit of patience. They do flash through the smoke at B. Roy's making moves. Going all the way up top, Banana. Sandbags, Molly, forces. Oh, God, that bounces. It does land, but now they know for sure the bit is stuck here. Another nade. He's jumping in the corner. One bullet will do it, and he's run out. Bit runs through the smoke, and even though the trade comes in, that's more than you can ask for. For what seemed like a dead position, the util was on point, but Bit still gets that kill. Four on four, and Na'Vi have had no problem sitting in 2-2 setups. Fnatic need to make this one work. They're long wraps. Shut down by Electronic last time. He's not here. Simple is, though. SDY runs through with a flash and does take Fasher out. Oh, oh the that's Molly. the bomb. Post-mortem double kill. Simple gets caught running back. That's frustrating. But you know what's worse? The bomb being loose on long. Yeah, and this is something Na'Vi should very much be aware of here. I know that Mezzi had it. I know he died over on the long side, and Perfecto's now got that information. Holding in library, Nikodos is parting his way with Crims still sat pretty inside of the site. But that means uh -oh. if Nikodos dies here, Crims yeah. isn't nearby to help, isn't nearby to trade. And with that shot not connecting, Crims now moving in a separate 1v1 of his own, not able to win it out. No time. time is the problem now. 10 seconds as he grabs the bomb, running it back into A. Okay. Will beat Perfecto. Okay. Just enough time to get it planted. And he is electronic running at him, running at him around the corner. Crims up and into the fight. Dancing around this box, dancing around oh. it! And Crims is the man to clutch that in the 1v2! No way! Ice in his veins, he doesn't fall for those fake footsteps. He just sticks the bomb knowing if he, if Electronic really wanted to run him down there off the plant, he absolutely could have. But Electronic tried to force a fake out of Crims, it does not work. In these moments, in these kind of one-on-ones, Crims really shows up in, in little clutches. He was doing the same against uh, s -Tag as well yesterday on Overpass, pulling out fakes. And he does it against Electronic and Na'Vi today. That's a sick round to steal back for Fnatic. And that's going to get the juices flowing, Harry. It's insane to me that he never once committed so far that the round as like a greater objective was unwinnable. You know, like he pushed into library to go and hunt that perfecto kill, but still gave himself that, that extra half yeah. a second, like knowing the kind of cutoff point that he needed to be able to, to try and win that in the 1v2. He never even knew that last player. The whole time the paranoia from Fnatic was on the long corner from mid, like a banana push, and then on the short side as well. The last thing they were ready for was Arch, so Electronic run at him there you know i think crims is more likely watching the other side if electronic doesn't make steps it's hindsight of course electronic you know he played it well he tried to fake it out but crims man he doesn't fall for your tom foolery and right now fanatic that's a massive round but they've got to capitalize on with this one because look at the buy it's in the bin one or one famas a bit of this and that fanatic just want to pump and dump into this b bomb site Oh, Bit going to try and come through this smoke oh. into oh. them in the pool. Take it. Doesn't go swimmingly. Perfecto. Going to get snuffed out after one. But all in all, both these B players you know, finding a, a one for one at least still tease Na'Vi up with the option to retake this round. No kit, though. No kit and the AWP is very far removed from it. If they don't get something off of this flash peak, I think they will just be saving. There was the layup, no. and it does drop the bomb. Now they're in 
interested. Now they're believing all over again. And we're just Messi alive. 1v2. Electronics That's crept out through the sidelines, but has been found by Messi. And now just Simple left to beat. How does he want to oh. do this? Dropping in a pool. This has been heard. Simple knows. 30 seconds. Both players waiting, neither moving a muscle, but the pressure is on Messi to make a move first. <laughs> He's playing with fire here, taking the long route versus Simple. And I mean, Simple's more than content to play the time. He's sat in the back of ruins. He knows that with each second that passes, things actually get harder for Messi in this 1v1. Tap on the bomb, but he doesn't commit to the run-up. Oh. Messi now needs ah. the plant. Last second, it's going to go down. And Simple's wrapped back around the ruins. Messi's got no idea playing around these smokes. He's threaded the needle on this. He's got the info that Simple did not come through these CT smokes. And he's painted an idea of where Simple could have gotten to. Flanks on flanks. No kit to stick. Simple's read it. Messi, oh, oh. right into the oh. Damn, just when you thought Messi had it up his sleeve. Simple, high IQ peak. Such a mind gamey 1v1 yeah. as well, right? Like everyone's throwing little tricks the way of the opposition. There's like fake plants from Messi. Pretend run up like feigned smoke drop from Simple. Oh, that was terrifying. And yeah, Simple, a second earlier, or a se sorry, a second later, and Messi's right there to win the round. Simple just couldn't stick that bomb. Perfect 1v1. And a very nice try from Messi. Did all he could. But you don't catch Simple sleeping. Not on LAN. Tense game right now, Harry. That was a round with nothing for Na'Vi. They had an orb and a, and a bunch of, you know, cobbled together SMGs and a FAMAS. But Na'Vi make it work and they keep themselves above water, keep themselves on high ground. However, Fnatic with a plant and all those kills almost surely going to rebuy coming back into this one. And even though it's messy themselves, they know whoever wins this round puts the other team on eco permanently. A subtle boost peak down middle. Trying to set Simple up for one, and that molly does not get them off the angle. Nikodos just fed to the Wolves. They're out through the top B smoke. This is maybe a little more pacey than Na'Vi yeah. are ready for, man. Like, no one is prepared for them to be already up top banana and now running into the site. Bits alive, still a problem, still a nuisance. Hiding out oh. over a quad, but is run down by Roy's Mac 10. Perfecto, wow. putting on a show. Cancelled out after his double. Needs a reload. But he's done enough. Done enough to tee up Na'Vi for this one. Simple waits on the other side of that smoke. Even though Fasher is ready to fight this man in at the coffins, it's the fact that the orb's just bowing down upon him that could cause issues. Roy's been quiet Ooh, all it. damn game, but now with the orb in the 1v2, he needs an ace clutch. Oh. If Fnatic want to do it, run down by the SMG. Now V do hold on to that one and stop it getting too weird they keep, in the post plot. They keep winning these kitless retakes. It's insane. It's madness. I don't know how they're doing it, especially after such a nice start for Fnatic. They went five on four down from that orb pick, but they keep bursting into B and, and getting away with even trades, if not going favorably. That smoke walk for Perfecto was perfection. Double kill and even lay a third player down low and Fasha could not close it out. Oh, Roy, rather, I mean. Very nice try. Did get his first three kills. Broke his silent streak, as said. Similar to Ancient in the scoreline start, and he ended at the top. Let's see if he can do it again. Fnatic, a long road to recovery. What AK in an eco round. Roy's tasted blood, and now he wants more. Oh, good grenade. They're going to peek with it as well. The most aggressive round of the banana that we've seen yet for Na'Vi. The re-aggression with a flash. And they find that one gun in no man's land. No one can even save it yet for Fnatic. Crims even gets smoked down in boiler. Opportunities for kills back for Fnatic. Go out the window for now. As Na'Vi, they always play these numbers. They just settle back into nice, safe setups. Double long, something new. 
boost up on B again. They just keep it fresh. And this position is so good because even if Fnatic throw flashbangs, they're not going to blind bit. Got the top of his head covered. Eyelids locked in. And a double setup at quad. But every time Fnatic had gone into this site, even when they have been 4v5, they managed to allow bomb plants. <laughs> Krims is like wondering how he hasn't fought anyone yet. And now his teammates are hitting the go button on the B play. He had to try and get involved. And with nothing Christ. landing here, it is a flawless round for Na'Vi. Breaking apart the pistols with ease. Kind of feel for Crims in that one. Like his whole round was, okay, I'm going to go boiler. Oh, they smoked boiler. Kind of odd. Kind of weird. Mid still open, but they smoked me. That's fine. I'll wait. <laughs> then he does wait. Then no one's peeking. He makes it all the way down long and then just dies to a guy who's been sat in a cubby the whole round. Yeah, Inferno, man. That's how, that's how it goes sometimes. That's how the cookie crumbles. But now they're getting their just desserts. At the end of this series, need a second life in them. Somebody young and abs. Oh, the turn back, but they don't check it. They don't even look. Ah, pissed them out. How is he still alive? Crims is terrified. 10 health, no. one shot. All it took. Somebody young recovers what was a very awkward timing in apartments. An electronic in middle as that smoke fades. A volley hits him. Poor Roy. What can you do? Impacted by the grenade. And a two-on-two two into B is Fnatic's best bet. Yeah, man. Flashing through a smoke into a molly. Not super fun, but they're going to try it. Going to try and get into this Ooh. B site. God, the nades. They're, they're dead, oh. but they haven't even seen anyone yet. <laughs> no one's peeking. Yeah, they finally get in. They finally make it, like, past the choke point. One guy alive, 10 health, spammed in the back, and then shot from a guy tucked in oranges. Everywhere Fnatic try to go in and, you know, seek their fortune early on. They're coming up broke time and time again. Yeah, I feel like I've seen more pistol rounds for Fnatic than buy rounds in this game. And now they're not even getting bomb plants. Four in a row for Na'Vi. It's getting out of hand. It's getting too hot to handle for Fnatic. Got to find some other mids. Three of B to start. Na'Vi get that banana control whenever they want it with a volley of utility. And Bit continues to peak all the way down. Silent boosting into abs. But again, not even a position that's done Fnatic many favors. They've lost more lives than gained. Good round to run it up short. They're going to get some flashes over. Long smoke on the fly. Simple blind, but he's still going to be ready for them. They get right under his scope, and Mezzi drops that orb through. As smoke comes electronic, he will die after one. Going to leave it to the pit anchor. 1v3, and they just tap him out. These pistols continue to put on a show for Fnatic, but closing rounds is the hardest part, and Na'Vi have been the cause of that problem. Yeah, and it's two, like, great, you know, anti-clutch players. Bit and Perfecto still up in this one. They're splitting it between long and short. Now, Bit might have to make contact first here. Perfecto's drawn some attention away. Oh. Hoping that sets Bit up. It's a clean uh -oh. opener. Perfecto follows up with another fascia. Tucked in. Back of the site. No! They're going up and over, and he does win that first. Ah! But spammed out by Perfecto. Perfecto, <laughs> and that's how the cookie crumbles. Retake round goes the way of Na'Vi in the two on three. And even though the text made it interesting, they weren't able to long it out. Yeah, he wanted to hold the shot, but he knew after that player clears close apps, he's coming right back. However, a few seconds could have made all the difference. You know, it's, uh, it's a hard one to play. It's a hard one to call. Take the kill while you've got it, but it will lead with a spam ending the round for Na'Vi. Another retake picked up. They've had so many. That's their fifth already. We've only played 13 rounds. Another timeout for Fnatic again. You know, throwback to Ancient, just looking for scraps at the end of the half. That was enough, and five certainly could be. But there's really no reason to expect it at this point. Na'Vi have come in, shaken off the ring rust. 
and looked like the team that we expected, that we needed inside of this group. Too many question marks in the group, Harry. Nip looking shaky on their opening day. They'll, of course, be coming up later against the other question mark of Vitality, who, you know, since adding Sphinx, have, uh, have looked solid at least. But they still need uh, they still need to prove themselves here at Pro League, with Fnatic being that, that fourth team, that maybe. Oh! oh. Neat That's dogs. brutal. Yeah. Roy! Oh, burning! <laughs> the fire is hot. <laughs> and as Mezzi would tell you, stay out of the fire, yeah? Super high level tactic. Bit holding on to the bottom of Banana. Still fighting here at the logs. Ooh. Now Molly's ah. tagged him and now they know he's here. No he Molly, no though. longer has like a, a big surprise to come on through with his peak. He's gonna win the fight straight up. Oh, he's even, he's just farming. He's got another Molotov. <laughs> Look at him. That's made of fire. Oh my And now God, Electronic's man. throwing one in. Oh. Guys, you can't go Banana, it's flambeed. Okay, you gotta go somewhere else. This is crazy. The depths of hell here. He, he may as well drop another. Flash is good, though. That will do. And some Dae Young comes down middle to end it. He'd like to take the orb, but they've got so much money, man. They're made of cash. 11 rounds for Na'Vi and an absolute stormer of a CT side. Fnatic, a new roster, and learning the hard way what it's like to face the best. Fairly underplayed map for this Fnatic team right now. And maybe it will stay that way. Oh, Simple's just had enough. He's run right down. He's even seen that. Oh, Crims. Oh, he's called it. His team need to help him. And Simple knew that his life was on a timer there. He just wanted to get a kill before he perished. He will fall first. That will give Fnatic a chance in this round. Will they elevate the pace and escalate towards A? Because Bit has already shut the net and allowed for a third rotation to this site. In they come, some die young, dead at the hay bales almost immediately. Electronic's gonna do the heavy lifting again. Oh, Ooh. his face is taken off. Now Perfecto just wants to stay alive. He'd be quite happy with them smoking Moto right now. But they've actually missed their smoke, leaving a gap in it. And out on the long side, Fash has gone pushing. It's Perfecto in the clutch, a 1v3 needed to deny a fourth round to Fnatic. Oh, uh -oh smoke's still very much in the way. And as he waits for that to fade, it's wasting precious time off the clock here. They're set up in a way that they could just triple peek him, right? He could go from getting no fights to three fights all in one go, all in one swift motion. And there's that second swing. Roy's gonna solidify a fourth for Fnatic. Na'Vi hold a big old lead. Fnatic have got to grind out a comeback. future pros in the depths of inferno today with a util set to take top mid you will need a smoke molly and a flash for this one throw the long smoke get into the corner of the bench and aim at the top of this white decal run forward and jump throw the smoke then pull out your molly and aim in the middle of this metal railing as you jump throw tap your move right key as this will allow the molly to land deeper under the balcony Finally, toss your flash against the wall to push anyone still close to shore back to the side and then take some space. A nifty, simple utility set, and I'm sure you'll find some success with it.
Na'Vi show a masterclass on the CT side of Inferno. This is the final map of this best of three here at season 16 of ESL Pro League. And Fnatic, well, they may have come in rip roaring with a comeback on Ancient. They have slowed down, gone cold. Someone needs to reheat them here as we swap sides to the second and potentially last half of Counter Strike in this game, at least. Coming up next, Vitality taking on Nip. But first, we've got to find out who can finish the job. Yeah, Fnatic, they've had a bit of a troubling time in pistol rounds, right? Yeah. They really need to break that curse here and not just win it, but, but stick the landing on the conversion as well. That's what's going to matter the most. Otherwise, it's going to feel similar to Mirage, where, you know, even if they put a couple of rounds on the board, they'd be up against such a one-sided scoreline that it feels like victory is inevitable. Oh, they have won four out of five pistols. And in the one they lost, they immediately recuperated it with uh, with a forced by win back on Mirage on CT side. So looking for a near flawless, at least conversion win for Na'Vi. And it would spell a disaster. It would almost spell GG just off of numbers alone. Flash already with a flash up. Roy, smoke and nade for the plant. Navi are going to go nonetheless. They do not care. Nade goes in deep now. That smoke hits Roy. Some info for Navi. Flash is going to fight with his own flash, and Roy will go flying through as well as charge. But Roy has been knocked down, and the dance won by Sundai Young, who smoothly moves into the site. Simply gets set up in CT spawn. And Nika Doz has got to check it. It's a close corner clear, and Nika Doz dies to the simple P250. Two on four on an impossible retake, and Simple's even going to chase the kills with his captain. It's Fnatic falling short in a final pistol round as Na'Vi take 12. Yeah, Mezzi, he's probably going to make it kind of interesting for a moment. Right, he's really good in pistol rounds, but not given too much of a chance to shine. Even though he's getting all of these, it's not going to be enough to win the damn round. Simple locks it in just by staying alive down at the bottom of Banana. He even gets a real cheap old upgrade in the next round is Simple. And that's Na'Vi with a pistol under their belt, now up onto 12 rounds. And Anti-Eco locked and loaded, ready to come through the pipeline. Means they should be taking this up on a 13 before guns even can be thought about coming through for Fnatic. Yeah, it just feels like an unmanageable comeback, right? When uh, when a first half is this one-sided and you get the, the free bonus rounds of these Anti-Ecos, especially when you know Fnatic have been ecoing second there's no right call to make it's just it's just how you rather play but uh you know it's not like you're gonna win a, a win a full eco so actually fanatic will force as you can see in the bottom right they they know just how important uh winning the second round is immediately breaking navi's money and not letting navi have an extra bonus round to go even further obviously it's a risk v reward you lose it and you've dug your hole even deeper harry six feet under Let's see if it was worth the risk for Fnatic. With Messi's kills on his exit, he actually gets an M4, so it's it's not bad for him, but it's pretty bad for everyone else. Quad B lean out of the gate. So you almost don't want to throw too much util down here. You kind of want to, to lure Na'Vi in, right? With, with the idea of like a false sense of security, you're hoping they come B. And they're not going to come B. Here you go. They're going A, man. Why couldn't you warn Fnatic of this? I'll get on the radio. Nika Doz needs to be ready for this pop. Simple could throw a flash from mid. Perfecto's probing the B site. Finger right in it, but will pull out as the smoke comes down. Simple lobs the flash, and out they jump. Nika Doz at the back of the site. 
Ooh, Mr. Eagle shots. He's baiting for Crims right now. Will they clear him, though? Are they ready? They're looking for another player. He's done some damage. Crims is not going to get cleared. That's the bomb loose. Nika does any one digs in the tank would be massive. He's hit so many body shots. Crims is finding the kills, and Nika does does them in. Somehow, some way, Fnatic are making this eco work, but it's not done yet. They're going to hard clear Crims, surely. And now they can get a plot. Messi denies the cross to the site, and Electronic needs to pick up another 4K. He's famed for it. But they're right behind. Yeah, it's this Apps man that really should seal the deal. Fascia. If he hits this timing, Electronic is screwed in this one. Tap on the bomb, hoping that baits Ooh. a peak, and it will. Oh. Electronic does do some damage, but isn't able to get much more done other than that one kill in the 1v3. Okay, all right, you know, let's give them the the benefit of the doubt here. That's a massive round from Crimson Nikodos to just lock in the A site. These constant jiggle peaks with pistols, the Deke headshot finally landed for Nikodos, who's had a bit of a quiet game, and they even shut out what seemed like a very, uh, you know, channeled in clutch for Electronic. So Fnatic have laid the groundwork for what could be a comeback. They've just got to do right by that force by round. Finally, the first conversion that Na'Vi does not find in this series. It's come right at the end of it. Oh, a little awkward there. Would have actually loved the Molotov instead. Sorry, Fasha. They're going to use it. Fasha needs <laughs> to hold on, and he's overran by the pistols. Uh oh. Roy doesn't have utility to stop a B play. He doesn't have a Molotov or a smoke to take momentum out of this, so he needs a rotation. And that's going to leave you a man down in the A-hold, which is what Na'Vi are grouping for right now. Two to get past. But it is a tricky twosome to try and find your way against Crims and Mezzi anchoring down this A side of the map. A gruesome twosome, maybe even. Na'Vi want to walk this smoke on the fade still got that cubby to clear but i wonder how many footsteps they're going to make if they can sneak the entire way around this site oh there's a couple of feet pitter pattering crim sees the library cross He's got to care the short side. He's been flashed out. Messi has that cover. They now know both players are in the bomb site. Apps player going to try and drop in. Bomb is committed. Krim still has this angle. Messi trying to cover this pit player who's attempting to cause a distraction. And Krim's a reaction with a double kill coming out from the back of the site. Nice work for Fnatic as they stop what was a very claustrophobic split. That's just so nasty as well. Like, you know, Mezzi and Crims are both these kind of guys who can who can do what Electronic was doing in that first half, yeah. which is anchor down a bomb site and just maneuver around these angles enough to make it annoying. And, and them doing it in tandem, you know, it, it's like Electronic's taste of his own medicine times two there inside of the A bomb site. Very grimy, maybe even borderline cringe, but it works out. Yeah, man, winning is so cringe. Ugh, why are you tryharding? Ugh. A big milli on the line. <laughs> I try hard too. Yeah. Nerds. I try when it's for no money, so, you know. Simple. Ooh. Dead in top middle. Fnatic trying their hardest to really get us all believing in this CT comeback. Ooh. One at a time. Maybe steps. Maybe someone will win a fight. That's what Na'Vi is saying. Right now, no one is winning a fight. Not even a point of damage done the other way. But we're waiting for guns. However, this game is very close. Don't let that scoreline deceive you. On the CT side, with a couple of gun rounds between Fnatic and Na'Vi score. Na'Vi had full banana whenever the hell they wanted it on CT. Fnatic are fine to give it up early in this gun round and let Na'Vi get top car. Na'Vi probe middle at the same time. 
are keen to see which attack is most effective. They have so much space. Bits even taking the face out of fashion. This player tucked to sandbags. Even a long kill. Na'Vi killing everyone they find in every position. You can imagine simple stop Mezzi from re-aggressing. Do they know about Roy? Because the bomb's coming back to this B-side. They've got the split on Roy. He can win the round. It's going to cost him two kills here at Banana instantly. Bit might be laying a flash up as well. Now they know. Oh, headshot angle. Bit will just survive. And Roy's got to turn his eyes to the spawn. Oh. He gets double-faced. That should be the round. No ifs, ands, or buts. Nika Doz might have to save. Look at Bit already hunting him down. Really does not want to let Nikodos get away with anything extra in his back pocket. And Bit will successfully remove that AK from play. Now, it's not the end of the world. You know, it would have been nice if Fnatic just to have a, that much of a cheaper reinvestment here. But they can still get guns out. They can even bring the AWP out for Nikodos if they want. Still, it, it's a pretty terrifying idea that, like, that's how the... F you know, return to rifles goes for yeah. Na'Vi. As you said, they were just winning every fight they found. Any time an engagement went down, Na'Vi won it. It was a series of 1v1s that instantly put them in a good way. Oh, Nika Dawes peeking deep down. Simple smokes a molly and Nika Dawes dozes off as Electronic finds that headshot up top mid. Simple's freestyling through a smoke and a molotov and he even finds Roy who is really at the uh, behest of Na'Vi. Just dying every single opening fight. One and five now on that guy in the openers. Not what you need for your entry player. Had a bit of a recovery from the 0-9 beginning, but even then, it might be too little, and it certainly might be too late. Fnatic gambled over towards A. The bomb is coming back, though. Na'Vi think they're throwing a fake, but they could run in with this, and if they do, they'll realize, don't send the, the bomb into A. This is completely empty. They've heard no reaction of Util on that B site. I wonder if Na'Vi worked this one out. Does Perfecto go in time to call off this at attack? Because if he does not, Na'Vi goes strolling into a stack. He's he's checking the small print right now. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Perfecto. Yeah. He's going to the ombudsman, man. He knows. He knows yeah. that they're not here. It's and done. he's called for that bomb to come back around. Nice Some die young left selling a fake inside of A is going to keep three bodies here. And now V, they've won the round on the back of just changing where this bomb was heading. That hurts for Fnatic, right? Perfecto's not curious in that round. There's a good chance Fnatic pick it up. That was a three on three inside of A. Bomb getting stuck. Some die only in the middle to stop aggressive rotations, but Fnatic will not be looking to do anything of the sort. Saving three weapons, giving away 14, and yeah, roughy. But it is so cool to see Electronic play this well as the in-game leader, right? He has, he has been solid every game today. Been putting up monstrous... Oh, shot. Monstrous um, multi-kills as an anchor. And not afraid to throw himself in first to entry. Some die young. Oh, one more kill would be so huge, but he's not going to get it. Still, that that one kill is everything. To deny a rebuy here from Fnatic, they have to give Na'Vi 15, really. They can't afford another rifle. Unless you count the fam ass. I don't. All the timeouts burnt by Fnatic here in this series. That's when you know they're feeling the burn. It's just ins uh, you know insane how much kind of the, the nature of this game has changed over the last what two rounds of play since Navi came out with the rifles, they kind of just been holding W to open up rounds, yep. like really looking to fight you early on, and Fnatic are not ready for this change in pace, feeling like you're playing a whole different team and a whole different.
different game. Double nades gonna bring oh, Roy down low, this. and he's just getting assaulted with utility in at top banana. Yeah, this keeps happening to Fnatic. They, they keep getting the sandbags players trapped by this corner molly uh, every time losing a guy at top B. And that, yeah, there's nothing you can do. You can't save that player unless you have really good flashes over the top of roof. And Fnatic have yet to bail out one of their sandbags players with that flash. When Na'Vi won it, they have it. Fnatic are even pulling over a third player. That gets hurt. Nikodos is running. Simple now knows that there's likely a stack at this B side. That might completely change around for Na'Vi, who are using a lot of utility to keep Fnatic back out of middle. All right, now it's only Mezzi with a rifle inside of A, and Nikodos has had to go back as well. Now, he did go back the long route, so I don't think Na'Vi heard this one. As far as they're aware, it's still a heavy setup on B. Three guys out mid, 40 seconds to do it. And if they don't like what they see, they can always come back to B where the bomb is sat. Instead, Archway seems like a route to a round as the CT spawn has been a path before for Na'Vi. It will again. They're actually about to find the retake util that's dropped in in like the, the B rotate spot. So they're about to get a Molotov out of this, and now they can use that to try and disrupt this hold even... F okay. What? <laughs> Fashion has got Spurred from CT for crying out loud, playing quad. That's insanity! Did they see him before no, the smoke No, it was box? just a smoke spam through okay. the CT smoke. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, you don't want to say it, but... Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's, uh, that's a save, Harry. That's, that's a save. <laughs> that's a 15th round. That's five alive. And it's Na'Vi here to play. Very impressive game. I don't believe that, man. Yeah. Like, Fash is not even doing anything wrong. He's waiting, waiting for a push. Arguably not even open to CT, nor did they have the info that anyone was there. <laughs> but Electronic, he's had his marbles today. Yeah, delicious. Glass, love it. It's not sharp, though. Smooth, grounded for your pleasure. Oh, let's check it. Let's check it. What you got? Oh, he sees him over the top, oh. Harry. He's got good eyes. Ah, still not Also, getting the headshot on someone up on that angle is like also very impressive because most of their head is covered by the top of the wall. Hey, electronics on it like a car bonnet, Harry. Room, room. He's revving his but way to first place. But even he turned around in the camera, like... Okay. Well... Yeah. Cool. Uno mas. Quick up B. Simple eats an HE. And avoids the retake utility that comes in for Fnatic. Hey, at least no one dies sandbags this round. It's a slight improvement. what has been a very difficult game. Coffee just want to end it with a B smash. Yeah. Why not, man? They've had good results here. They're moving in. First man, Orange is dead. <laughs> and Perfecto in with two of his five a day. Uh. Oranges get demolished when Perfecto's around. And now it's down to Crims, Mezzi, and Nikodos who have to rotate into a site that's been lost for a long while. And Simple's even holding the rotate through middle. Playing more like a map of Tuscan than Inferno right now with Simple holding mid rotates into B. And even as they flush him out, they've wasted half their time to retake, if not more, hunting down that man in middle to still be in an even odds retake. GG. This is the end. Bit up over the top. Messi falling and some die young to walk it over the line. Na'Vi locking the victory two to one. Ancient might not have gone their way. Might have been stolen away from them right in round number 30. But they do get their revenge across the next two maps.